Hello and welcome. I'm Cynthia and I am talking about spiritual condemnation, judgment, and entity attachments that you encounter on your spiritual path as you grow and develop into your own true identity. These things are not pleasant when we have to face them, and nor are they easy to tackle when we find them within ourselves. And that is why I make it a point to often listen to people that I normally wouldn't agree with, just to gain the understanding of their point of view and why they feel the way they do. Now, as someone who has come from a background of fundamental religion, I can and do see the concerns of many in the Christian community when it comes to demonic energies. But because I took the path of mysticism very early in life, in my early 20s, I have an understanding as to how those energies fit in with the scheme of things. And because I had an excellent teacher, I am very clear on spiritual dabbling and how that can draw entities and bring up shadows from the inner self that can seem like they are actually coming from the spirit side, even though they are not. They are actually the darker aspects of ourselves. And if an individual is seeking and they are moving in many different directions and they are ungrounded in their approach to spirituality. They can indeed begin to bring up shadow aspects of themselves that can relate to the seven deadly sins or the five poisons and they can become on the level of a humanly created entity. Or if an individual is not finished with those aspects and they are still dabbling with the pornography, the drugs, the alcohol, the loose sex, or the abuse of any kind of natural herb or way of opening up spiritually, there are doorways that can be opened and there are entities that can come through these practices. So, what happens if you are on your spiritual path? You are working on your inner clean out. And 
all of a sudden someone attacks you for sharing your knowledge, for sharing a spiritual experience, for helping another individual on the path who needs a hand up and you are willing to extend your hand because you understand what it is like to go through all of the difficulties in trying to find your way. And like a bat out of hell, out of nowhere, you are hit with an accusation that you are totally demonic and that everything that you believe is a lie. And you're this horrible satanic person who is going to hell. Or on the other end of it, you can be confronted with somebody who perhaps has stated that they've been meditating for over 30 years and they have finally reached this beautiful state of bliss and nirvana. And they know that you are a con artist and a liar because you couldn't have possibly attained any form of spiritual bliss because you are not following a designated path in which you are doing all of the chanting and following all of the Sanskrit. I'm going to tell you something. You can beat your head into a wall. Studying Eastern religions, doing chants, reciting Bible verses over and over again. You can be degreed in medicine or psychology. And none of that is going to bring you into spiritual bliss if the heart isn't open. Because when the heart opens, the mind opens. That crown chakra becomes receptive to the spiritual energies, the angelic forces, all of which God created. And when you open on a higher level without judgment, without condemnation about the path of another. You are opening to God and you are beginning the process of yoking with our eternal creator. This is the only thing that you have to keep in mind when people are spewing dogma and ridicule upon you. But it's very important to understand that those who work with that type of energy are open to attachments. They are open to the spirits that have stayed earthbound, that have been involved in the Spanish Inquisitions, the witch hunts, the dogma, the hierarchy that ruled people under the dominion of using politics and church 
to control. It is important if you believe in only seeing the good that you have to be aware that there is another side. Whether you want to believe it or not, it is there. And that side attaches to those who commit crimes, who murder, who defame characters. And defamation of character is a big thing right now. It is, has become a larger than life entity. So my suggestion is to begin to work with psychic self-defense to do protective prayers in order to ward yourself from this energy so that you personally do not become triggered by it. This is the biggest tool of the negative force. It is to trigger you when your character is being defamed and your beliefs are being uh, attacked in order for you to fight back and get into a big theological debate. That is not necessary. And it is not going to get you where you need to go any quicker. There is no need to prove yourself to anyone. Just rest in the divine power of love. The love that God created you with and the love that you were intended to express here on this earth in your journey. I wish you much love and many blessings.